This first came out in 1946. It's been re-released to coincide with the 50th anniversary of Jean Cocteau's death at the end of 1963. And it's had the old DCI 4K treatment, the digital high defs, which seems kind of ripe for this because it's a, it's a film that's very ornate and very magical. I remember watching this as a film student, actually. And I, I think there is an argument that this is the kind of knowingly poetic and arch filmmaking that is mainly loved by pseudo-intellectual film students, of which I was definitely one. Um, however, I mean, that's to be sort of glib about it and to shut yourself down to something that is gorgeously opulent and haunting. And it's a film that was made, let's not forget, uh, in the wake of the Second World War for audiences looking for the fantastical and the spiritual in the aftermath of of such grisly horror. There was one review that, that pointed out the same year that it was. Uh, they also made It's a Wonderful Life and A Matter of Life and Death. So those three films in the same year, I mean, wow. that is... Pr- and those, again, all kind of heartwarming, fantastical um, movies. So those three films together is, pr- makes 1946 pretty special. Uh, but yes, this is now out again, re-released, 4K, uh, Beauty and the Beast, definitely worth seeing.